No, Trevor, I'm not gonna wear a hat for the video. I told you to wear a hat. Alright, let's start. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Florida Man YouTube channel. I am Jaden. And I'm Trevor. We are here at a very empty Epcot to give you guys an update on food and wine. If you guys remember in our last video, there was a few booths that were closed and since then a few of them actually opened. So let's dive right on into it. So we were just informed by a very nice cast member that these booths were actually supposed to open on October 1st. Which so was, is the 50th in case if you guys have been paying attention. But it's a little bit of a surprise that they opened them up early so we can go check them out now. So this place called Mac and Eat just opened up here and they have a lot of macaroni and cheese based items. Here's what the menu looks like for that. And right next to it, a new place is called Lobster Landing, and here is the menu for that booth. Right here we have the Cowboy Mac and Cheese, which is one of the most popular mac and cheeses they have at the Mac and Cheese booth. On it is pork belly, a little bit of beef, onion straws, and mac and cheese. So, let's give it a shot. It's really good. I mean, it's mac and cheese with meat. How can you go wrong? Alright, so Trevor, how much was this little dish here? It was five seventy five. I gotta admit, it's a lot of food. It actually reminds me of the um, corn beef route at Flavors by Fire, which is right behind us. And my second question: Do you think that it is worth it? Yeah, you get a lot for your buck. All right, y'all. Here we go. So, what do you think? It's good. Oh my. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's good. Yeah, get it, get it, bye. Right behind us, India is open and unfortunately we are too chicken to try everything or anything on this menu at all, so we're skipping this guy. Kenya is now open and it's weird because they have a very limited menu. They have two things, they have a Kenyan coffee, barbecue beef tenderloin, and a skewered shrimp dish. Um, that's weird because usually they have more food. We are making this video just to let you guys know that if you're coming between now and October, these booths are available. So right now, you are getting the full food and wine experience. So another booth that just opened is the Spain booth. And I actually, for some reason, I really like the way like the outside looks. I think it's really nicely themed. Um, they have some good dishes. They have a charcuterie board there. Charcuterie, whatever, however you say it. Charcuterie. Charcuterie. Thank you, Trevor. I didn't know you spoke French. Anyway, um, yeah, it, I actually like the outside of the building. I don't think we're getting anything. What about you? Anything? You want to get anything? No, I mean, it looks like an olive garden. Yeah, that's about it. Now, I don't know if you remember, Jaden, but in our previous video, I said that this food and wine feels kind of... It feels dumb. It feels basic. However, with all these new booths opening up, it kind of feels like it's filling itself out. Also, I noticed as you go around the World Showcase, there's more merchandise booths, which is really cool, especially because those booths cater to that country. For example, over at Germany, they have shirts and merchandise catered towards... Germany. Uh, we've had a previous video? Yes. Oh. If you guys remember from the beginning of this video, uh, I said we are here, pause, at a very empty Epcot. We are here at a very empty Epcot and it is pretty empty here right now. It was actually funny, there's like a detour coming in here because they were doing construction and me and Trevor could not find our way in so maybe that has something to do with it. But you think the parks would be well, Epcot specifically would be more crowded because of Food & Wine being here. During this year's Food & Wine, they're having a variety of shows over at the American Pavilion. Right now, they're doing the Mariachi Band from Mexico, the Voices of Liberty from American Adventure, as well as different music guests. Tonight, they're having the Hooligans. One of the first videos that me and Trevor made about Epcot was the idea that the different festivals throughout the year bring life to the park and make it more exciting and almost save it in a way. And even though Trevor's saying that food and wine this year is dull, I still think that it brings a good life to the park. Trevor, what do you have to think about that? I do have to agree. I think now, since it's kind of matured for the past month, I think it kind of gives you an incentive to see World Showcase in a new light. Now here's some interesting folks. Between France and Morocco, they have this section cut off with what appears to be stage lights up top. However, they're not pointed inward, they're pointed outward to where we are now. So I'm wondering, what are they doing with this? Maybe they're doing something for the 50th. Who knows, because Disney likes to keep everyone in the dark, so yeah. The Ireland booth is now open and Trevor is actually gonna get a dessert item from here and we're gonna try it out and see if it's good or not. So here we got the Irish pudding from the Irish booth. Um, honestly, I saw them, they took like a tinfoil thing and just flipped it upside down on the plate. So I mean, that's nice, I guess. So let's uh, take a look. 
<laughs> oh, that face. What was that face there, bud? Texture's like really weird. Mm. I mean, you can see right here. See how thick that is? No bubbles or nothing. You can. It tastes like really spongy. Yeah, I can see that. Still going in for more. This was 4.25. Honestly, like the outside is nice and crusty, but the inside is so mushy, it almost tastes like it's undercooked. So, Trevor, is it worth it? Nah, I wouldn't get it. Yeah, so when I just bit into that, I was expecting a lot more like chocolate and more browniness, I guess, to it, but it was kind of like watery, you know? Yeah. Um, it was really light, so I didn't love it. I wouldn't get it. That's a really good way to put it. It tastes very watery and like undercooked. I didn't like it at all. We have done a complete lap of World Showcase, and that was about six new booths, and they were all pretty cool. I actually liked all of them. That is a bold-faced lie, because we would never eat at India. Um, uh, well, I liked the outside, and I think that the designing was good. Well, you heard it here first, folks, from the Florida men. The designing looks good. <laughs> But in a way, I feel like it's good to have these booths just to give you incentive to try new things because isn't that what food and wine's about? Trying and seeing new things from different cultures? No. We did want to stop by and show you guys some of the new merchandise, including this new Apple line with these really cool Mickey ears. They are $30. Hey Trevor, do you think like I would wear this hat if I bought it? Right across the way from Port of Entry, which is right behind me, is a smaller merchandise store with a few other different items including cookware. Additionally, they also have merchandise catered to Guinness. They also have this really cool toucan shirt that I love a lot. Uh, I didn't know toucans had anything to do with Guinness. I would love to get it, but it's $33, so that's a no thanks. So that'll do it here from our quick trip to Epcot. Hopefully we gave you guys some good information on the booths and the merchandise and everything. Um, Disney did just announce that buffets are going to be coming back. I don't know if you guys know this, but instead of them having a buffet where the buffet would normally be, say at Chef Mickey's, they do like a family style type thing. But now they're actually putting food back where the buffet should be and maybe it'll film me. I don't know if you guys saw our cowfish video, but I said the only way I could film me if it was like all you can eat. But uh, I just went on a long rant, but thank you guys for watching and we hope you enjoyed this one. Goodbye. So I don't know if you guys remember, but I'm stepping in a giant puddle right now, so I can't film the rest of the clip because I got distracted. So we're, yeah, 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 sorry. All right, y'all, here we go. Are you gonna eat it or are you just gonna Wait, see it? Just, all, right, all right, here we go. Three, all right. So we have done a. You my pet. We have. <laughs> we have done a. Oh my god, that guy's going off. So I'm wondering what are they doing with this? Maybe they're doing something for the 50th. Who knows? Because Disney likes to keep everyone in the dark. So, yeah. Including the child labor factories. 